Welcome to the Bladed Tech Channel 66th edition and second year of the Space and Tech Rewind. We are reviewing the milestones that occurred on each day in the week of September 13th through September 19th in space exploration, science, and technology. September 13th, 1899. Technology progress usually brings positivity to the human experience, but unfortunately, there's often the introduction of new risks that go along with that progress. This is as true regarding the invention of automobiles as any other new technology. On this date, the first American automobile fatality resulted when Henry H. Bliss was run over as he alighted from a streetcar at Central Park West and 74th Street in New York City. He stepped into the path of an approaching horseless carriage driven by Arthur Smith. Bliss, 68, was taken to the hospital where he died of the injuries he sustained. The driver, Arthur Smith, was arrested and held on $1,000 bail, a stupendous sum for that era. The first pedestrian in the world to die after being struck by a car was Bridget Driscoll on August 17, 1896, on the grounds of the Crystal Palace, London. She was struck by a car giving demonstration rides and died minutes later of head injuries. On February 12, 1898, the first car driver crash fatality was UK businessman Henry Linfield, whose speeding car ran into a tree at Purley, Surrey. His death was immediate. In the 21st century, about 37,000 people are killed in car crashes in the US per year, a decline from the peak in 1969 when 54,000 motorists died when there were 120 million less citizens in the country than in 2021. Fortunately, as a general trend, automobiles become safer every year. September 14, 1968, the Zond 5 lunar probe was launched on a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on this date. The probe was the first to fly to the moon and return to Earth to be recovered after deorbit. On December 18, 1968, the spacecraft flew around the moon at an altitude of 1,200 miles. A biological payload of turtles, wine flies, mealworms, plants, seeds, bacteria, and other living matter was included in the flight. After a ballistic 20G re-entry, a capsule splashed down in the Indian Ocean on September 21, 1968. Soviet naval vessels were 100 kilometers from the landing location and recovered the spacecraft the next day, shipping it via Bombay, India, back to the Soviet Union. September 15, 1885, a U.S. patent was issued on this date for saccharin, the artificial sweetener discovered by the Russian chemist Konstantin Falberg. He had already patented the substance benzoic sulfonide, which he had found to be exceptionally sweet tasting on June 2, 1885. In this new patent, his invention was to mix a small quantity of this compound with a large amount of grape or starch sugar, which he then called dextrosaccharin. In this form, the mixture had, he claimed, quote, the sweetening property of cane sugar or saccharose, so as to be successfully used in the preparation of candies, preserves, cordials, Etc. He described mixing two pounds of the chemical compound with one ton of grape sugar by solution and evaporation. Taking advantage of the lower cost of grape sugar, this was cheaper than cane sugar. In the 1970s, studies in the U.S. performed on laboratory rats found an association between consumption of high doses of saccharin and the development of bladder cancer. The finding came during a period when carcinogens were being discovered every week instilling panic in the U.S. citizenry. As a result, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration banned the sweetener in 1977. It was later found that the rats had been fed incredible amounts of saccharin that would never be consumed by humans. And additionally, that the carcinogenic reaction in the rats were from a physiological reaction not found in people. The FDA lifted its ban in 2000, and the sweetener is now the third most popular sweetener after sucralose and aspartame. September 16, 1997, 12 years to the day after resigning from Apple, Steve Jobs is named interim CEO of Apple on this date. 
Only seven months earlier, Jobs' company Next was purchased by Apple, and just two months earlier, Gil Emilio resigned as Apple CEO. Much of the technology acquired with the purchase of Next was used to build the Mac OS X operating system, which became the core of the iOS operating system that runs the iPhone and the iPad. Jobs went on to become one of the most successful tech CEOs in history, catalyzing the company to innovation after innovation, including the aforementioned iPhone in 2007 and iPad in 2010. Unfortunately, Jobs' health began to decline, beginning with pancreatic cancer in 2004, and then liver failure in 2009, for which he underwent an organ transplant. That bought him only two more years. Longtime Apple COO Tim Cook took over after Jobs' death and is still the CEO as of 2021. September 17, 1908. The nascent automobile was not the only risky new major technology introduced in the late 19th or early 20th century. The first U.S. airplane fatality was Lieutenant Thomas Selfridge at Fort Myer, Virginia on this date. He was a passenger with Orville Wright while on a demonstration flight for the U.S. Army. Wright had installed new, longer, but not flight-tested propellers only the day before. One of the propellers had struck one of the wing's vibrating guy wires and disintegrated. The Wright Flyer airplane fell 75 feet and crashed into the ground. Lieutenant Selfridge, 26 years old, was an artillery officer on special duty with the Balloon Corps. He was taken unconscious to Fort Myers Hospital, where he died that night after an operation for a fractured skull. Orville Wright sustained a thigh fracture and multiple rib fractures, but managed to survive. We previously covered the Wright brothers in Milestones 15, Milestones 40, Milestones 47, and Milestones 125. September 18, 1927. The Columbia Phonograph Broadcasting System went on the air with 47 radio stations on this date. However, the radio network lost money in its first year, and on January 18, 1929, Columbia Records sold out to a group of private investors for $400,000. The radio network was renamed the Columbia Broadcasting System, or CBS. As with NBC, CBS became one of the three dominant U.S. broadcast television networks for the next half century. CBS maintained its independence longer than its rivals, until being taken over in 2000 by one of its own spin-offs, Viacom. Viacom had been purchased in 1986 by a national movie theater chain called National Amusements, and the chain became the parent company of both Viacom and CBS, a state that still exists in 2021, although the two companies were merged into a single entity called Viacom CBS in 2019. CBS, in addition to its namesake broadcast network, also runs MTV, Nickelodeon, BET, Paramount Plus, Comedy Central, and Showtime. We covered rival NBC in Milestones 125. September 19, 1876. American inventor Melville Bissell received a U.S. patent for the carpet sweeper on this date. At his crockery shop in Grand Rapids, Michigan, his wife Anna's health was affected by dust from the packing materials. From a desperate need for self-preservation, he invented the carpet sweeper. After some use, the two recognized the sweeper's marketing possibilities and began to assemble them in a room over the store for commercial sales. By 1883, Bissell had to build a manufacturing plant in Grand Rapids to handle the demand. By the 1890s, the company had an international presence and was producing 1,000 sweepers per day. Somewhat unusually, Bissell was a private company throughout its history and remains so in 2021. The company has $800 million in annual revenue and employs 2,500 people. With the collapse of Hoover and its relegation to being a mere brand owned by a Chinese company, Bissell became the leading floor care brand in the U.S. based on sales. We covered Hoover in Episode 7, and floor care machines in Milestone 65 and 
Milestones 123. Before we get to the current event of the week, we wanted to see if you enjoyed this 66th episode of Blade of Tech's The Space and Tech Rewind. If so, click that like button. Did you agree with our choices, or are there other events that were better? Go ahead and share with us by dropping a comment below. And if you have suggestions for an event in the future, we'll take those too. We'll credit events we pick for future videos to those viewers that post them. We hope you have been enjoying our content. Have we earned your subscription to our channel? If yes, and you have not yet taken the opportunity as of yet to subscribe, please take a moment to do so now and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. We want to continue delivering great content to you. You can always unsubscribe and subscribing is free. On January 29th, 2021, the U.S. Space Force revealed its new rank structure for officers and enlisted personnel. Unsurprisingly, the service for the most part is adopting the U.S. Air Force ranks, the service branch to which the Space Force is subordinate. The only change the Space Force made is in four categories of Air Force enlisted ranks called airmen. The equivalent ranks in the Space Force will be specialist, similar to the rank names used by the U.S. Army. The announcement was only news because the House of Representatives had passed an amendment in the National Defense Authorization Act of 2020 requiring the Space Force to use the Navy's rank structure. The use of Navy ranks was proposed by former Navy SEAL Representative Dan Crenshaw. However, the Senate version of the act did not include the provision on naval ranks. In a compromise bill, the House agreed to strike the requirement. The Trump administration had not shown any particular preference. Nevertheless, the Air Force waited until after the Biden administration to take power to make their announcement. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 300 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos in our microblogging accounts, which are listed below, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation Documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science, and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered in the Bladed Tech Gaming Channel in videos called Walkthroughs and Side Missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed and Minds page, where we post content from our upcoming episodes from episodes past that you may have missed and where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.